Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to live stream to multiple platforms at the same time. So, even though this video is sponsored, the service I'm about to show you is exactly the service I use to do our weekly live stream. Let's hop in and take a look. It's called Restream, and you can use the link below or go to mrc.fm forward slash restream to access it. Now, what was I doing previously to using this very simple to use service? Well, I was hopping around GitHub and downloading Nginx RTMP. It had a ton of issues that I always needed to fix. Plus, I needed to grab myself a Linode or DigitalOcean server. And on top of paying for that, I had to break out the command line and edit rather difficult configuration files. Enter Restream with its easy plans, starting from free, which is amazing if you just want to get started streaming on multiple platforms. If you're a musician, online radio broadcaster, you want to start your own radio show online, they have free plans and paid once you get a little more serious. Let me show you how I use it. So this is the dashboard when you first fire up Restream. As you can see, first of all, you need to add a channel, your first channel and then you can go ahead and add more channels after that. And of course, the place where my audience is mainly is YouTube. So I use YouTube events. This is really easy to set up. You simply connect to YouTube events and then it's gonna authorize with your Google account. So you click yes to that, authorize it with your channel and boom, away you go, give access and it will connect to your account. There we go. Now you can either say create a new event or what I like to do is go into my live streaming dashboard here inside YouTube uh, and click create a new stream. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'll dismiss my last settings and I'll create something new. Let's just call this MRC live test. I'll make it a private stream so it doesn't go to all my subscribers and then I'll schedule it for later. Let's put it way into the distance. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it into uh, somewhere in August. That will do nicely. August 11 in the morning will be perfect for me. Create the stream. And then once that stream is created inside your YouTube dashboard, you can then hop back to Restream. Click on the cog here for destinations. Edit the settings and look for your event. There it is, MRC Live Test. It'll rename the title, give it the right category. Primary YouTube server is what you want. And that is your first channel configured. Just like that, it's so easy. You could go ahead and add different channels, like for instance, Facebook. If you're paying for a plan, uh, I like to do that because you get the public pages available on Facebook. So I can stream to the Music Radio Creative Facebook page. You click this, again, it's a simple case of connecting to Facebook. Wait for it to do that, authorize with your Facebook. If you've never done it before, it'll give you a quick pop-up to authorize Restream to access your Facebook. And then you say stream to and you pick out the page you'd like it to go to. Public page music radio creative for me. Save. And that's your second platform that you're streaming to. You can go ahead and do this as many times as you like. Twitch is another one. Connect Twitch. Again, you'll need to authorize. Once you've authorized it to access your Twitch account, it will add it into Restream. It really is as simple as that to get multiple platforms up and going and start your own live stream using Restream. But it doesn't stop there. There's so much more you can do with this. If you don't want to use something like OBS, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. There is this fantastic feature called Live Studio, and then you can stream your camera, you get a chat box, you get captions, graphics and overlays, and you can do this all inside the web browser. You don't need to go anywhere else. It's pretty amazing. Something I use for live streaming a lot is this chat feature. Now you can download this for Mac, also PC, and surprisingly, there's a Linux app as well, or you can just open it up in your browser. We'll look at this in just a moment, but it's fantastic. You can monitor chat from multiple different platforms, all in one easy to use interface. Something that I hop into quite a lot are the analytics here. And here you can choose from all your sessions. This was our last live stream. And you get a really good idea of the viewers you had on your live stream over time. But not only that, it breaks it down to a nice pie chart here where you can see that the majority of my audience are on YouTube, but I have a big chunk, just over 10% watching on our Facebook public page. 
And I also stream to my Facebook profile, which gives me nearly 3% of viewers. And not only can I break down the viewing figures right here, but I can also tick different platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Facebook Personal. And I can see really where all my viewers are tuning in, where the peaks are, and where the valleys are as well. So where I probably need to improve the stream to retain viewers for longer. Really, really handy stuff. You can also see how many followers you gained over time, your chat messages over time. And also, I really like this one, the chat trends, where I can see the top chatters all on YouTube here. But if I want to hop over and see my Facebook fans, I can also click there and see top chatters here on Facebook on my latest stream. It's really, really cool. Now, there's more magic inside Restream. This is not a feature I've used much yet, but I do intend to. It's called Scheduler. And essentially, you can schedule a video to go live on your channel or channels at a later point. So you could record something and then upload it, and it will go out as a live stream. Pretty cool feature. Let me finish this up by hopping over to the PC where I have OBS. Let's break that open and I'll show you exactly how you can configure Restream to work seamlessly with OBS Studio. Uh, so first of all, when you fired up OBS, you can go into your settings here and you can load up the Stream tab. Here you can choose a service and Restream is included. Now I'll choose Restream RTMP and most of you will want to use this as well. And then there's a simple connect account, which is so easy to do. Gives you a little auth here, so you can just enter your user details. And of course, pop in that password there and log in. And within a second, it will allow you to either allow or deny Restream. Obviously, you allow it to connect to OBS Studio. Once it's done that, you click OK. Not only is it going to connect so that you're ready to stream, but it'll also bring up these beautiful pop-out windows. So I've got this to tell me all my channels and when I'm streaming, it will ping up and say that I'm online. I've also got this here. This is my chat box. I can rearrange that. Here, I can change the title of my live stream. I can also pin that on the top there, which is really, really wonderful. And when I'm ready to go, I simply click Start Streaming and it will start streaming to these multiple platforms. And I can put as many as I want. I can add Periscope or any of the many platforms that Restream supports. Finally, just to finish up, I will show you this wonderful integration here with the chat box. I can type here something like hello world. And you'll see down here all of the chats that it will go to. Now, obviously, Facebook doesn't allow you to do it until you start streaming. But YouTube and Twitch do. When I click hello world, that goes into the chat. You see it ticks to go out to each different service. Back over here, when I look at my YouTube live stream, Hello World is there. It's also there in my Twitch chat, and that is pretty phenomenal. So not only can you stream to multiple platforms, you can also chat with your audience on multiple platforms as well. Schedule live videos to go live later on that you've recorded. Pretty amazing. And check out in detail the analytics on each live stream so you can improve and get better. I'm really excited about Restream. I use it for all my MRC live streams, and I recommend you try it out too for free using the link down below or head over to mrc.fm forward slash Restream. And thank you, Restream, for sponsoring this video.